In this video we're gonna work on how to do our first Excel VBA uh, module or program. Uh, in this video it works for people who are beginner to Excel VBA. So uh, we go to the develop tab, visual basic, uh, insert user form. So this is my main user form. I'm gonna change it to main user form. Okay. So if I want to, okay, input page, and I'm gonna change the font to. As we see here, and center as a page. So we're going to have text box. This is the first, and this is the second. And So this one will be first input and we're gonna make it big first input second input okay so this is what I have here uh, I'm gonna consider this copy paste the data here okay consider the third input consider the third input Yes, no. Okay, consider the third input. Yes or no. And copy, paste. So this is the third input and we need an option button here so this one for the yes copy paste and this one is for the no and for yes and this one for Okay, as we've seen here, and uh, this is the first step, and I need to initialize those data on Excel. So we have here first. Third input, and we have here default, and this is edited data. So the default five, 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 or one, two, three, and the edited is blank as it is, and we have the result here is. Uh, this plus or 
have this plus this sorry this plus plus this one plus this one okay so this is edited we'll see it in a bit and we're gonna do the simple form of using VBA under Excel uh, so Excel will do the calculation we're gonna use an option button to say whether to consider the third input as equal to 3 or as equal to 0 okay uh, the way we use Excel and VBA is to give the user a an easy way to understand the project the Excel, a simple user form to follow instead of the user having to open Excel and navigate the cells this project or this small model is very example very brief simple example it will help you to get started uh, so uh, the user will open the user form he has all the default initial value filled into the boxes as we see in a bit and it gives the user the uh, ability to update those values to edit those values then Excel will read the data edited by the user Excel will calculate the output the VBA on the user form will read the output from the Excel okay so the interaction between the user and the computer will be through VBA and there is the program that does the interaction between the VBA user form and the Excel program okay so let's see how it's done so we're gonna double click on this one we don't want user form to click we're gonna consider user form initialize which one here okay so now I'm going to tell the computer we need text box one dot value equal so we have the cells here which is six one two three four five six five seven five and so is equal to cells six comma five dot value We have seven and eight five. So I'm gonna run it to see how does it look like. So we've got the values, which is the default values, one to three already defined here. The way to do this is just to give the user um, so instead of filling all the boxes every time he runs the program, so I give him the original data, the one you use in your case study and it give you the option to change one of the value and see how does it affect the result okay so I'm gonna close this so once we initialize the data I'm gonna go back here and we're gonna say cells equal and so this one cell four five equal to this one and copy so seven eight okay let's see how does it work so when we run it we have the data initialized here, 1, 2, 3, and the added value is equal to the default values so far. Okay, so I'm going to close this. If I want to give the user uh, module 1, so sub run user form 1 show. And this way, by doing insert module and calling the user form gonna put a button here and link this one and proceed okay so now we click we get 
the values here all right so we go back to the user form here so so far we initialize the user form we get the original data uh, and then second point second step we've done here we copied the editors it will be equal to default values the third point the third step would be we give the user uh, possibility option to change to edit those values okay which is the one two and three okay I click on this consider third input yes or no and the values is zeros so far okay so I'm gonna go back to this double click on yes which is the option button one which is the yes Yes, this is in choice. Okay, so the text box value three we as it is. We'll keep it as it is. And if you click on the no, so here is the no. This one will be equal to zero. So I'm gonna run it again and see how it is. Okay, so if it is three, it will consider the value which is the default value or the edited by the user. And if no, it will see it as zero. Okay, so this is uh, another example of the option then. Okay, so uh, let's display the result uh, so we go to alt f11 this is the user form we have okay so we're gonna say okay results and result before I proceed we have to do insert another user form this one is result page okay so we have I'm gonna do a small button here to go back in order to give the user the ability to change result and copy paste it here and this one is exit okay so I'm gonna display the result this box so if I come here I'm gonna copy this to copy Okay, so we have the result here in this box. So whenever we get this, which is we don't want the click, we want the user form initialize and text box one value is equal to the cells which is six one two three four five six seven eight six eight dot value okay so I'm gonna close this whenever we close it nothing will happen so we have to link it so alt f11 results user form so okay so whenever I we say we're gonna consider this we get the output as six if I go back nothing will happen if we don't want to consider it still as six 
because uh, I will show you in a second we result we're reading value from here so whenever we click on no we have to update the edited value to zero which is by the user okay so whenever we click on no we're gonna consider this one okay as delete is equal to the text box value okay and whenever we consider I'm gonna copy this one as well or I'm not gonna consider this one I'll show you in a second so we have this one is equal six four so we have two and two and three okay let's how does it look like so we have the input page here in case the user he came and he updated the value he want to consider this so we have four and four and three and those value been updated so if he does not want to consider this and he updated this so we must obtain seven as read okay the only thing not working so far which is a go back and exit so we need to fix this so go to the user form to double click on go back is user form to dot if I don't remember it like here I have show I have hide okay so this is the program as it is and user form to This is the hide button, the one I have. Okay, so if I say proceed, we have the input page, yes or no. So we go back and we don't want to consider the third input. So we obtain the result as it is. We obtain the result as it is. So the go back, you don't want to obtain this. So this is the three and the result is not changing so we need to make sure the result is okay uh, so result for the input page i think when you activate this we'll fix it in a second so the result which is go back if i do it here is four and we're considering this as the result as so instead of initialize we need to write to activate I'm gonna close this in a second come back here and we need user form activate we need to write it again so every time you you're running it you should obtain the result as it is so in case we have here is that the result is 12 if I go back I have here 4 and this one is 2 and decide not to use so I should obtain 6 go back if I have here 6 and 2 so I should obtain 8 ok so initialize is the first time running it will be initialized but every time you need to access user form so you have to be activate so every time you activate the user form you must obtain the result so in case here i consider it as five i must obtain the result as it is okay so we have the go back and in case i want to stop i close the form so this is my very easy way to start uh, Excel VBA for beginner. Thank you.